Hours later, the man opened fire on security forces outside a synagogue about two miles away. The shootings, both of them, killed two people, wounded five. Here is Rabbi Shmuley Bateach. The Jerusalem Post considers him one of the 50 most influential Jews in the world. Well, that's uh, <laughs> not, not a bad statement. My mother wrote that. Now, Rabbi, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu over the weekend said, Jews should leave Europe and go to Israel, where they will not be threatened. What do you say? Well, of course, they're threatened in Israel as well. One of the big debates now is Iran wanting to build a nuclear weapon, and they're calling for the annihilation of Israel. They're also threatened there. But I believe that moving to Israel has to be the fulfillment of a dream rather than the escape from a nightmare. So it's not that Jews cannot remain in Europe because they're going to be murdered and their governments don't protect them. That cannot be the reason. European governments must protect the Jewish population, or they're, they're no longer democratic, they're no longer free, and they have to admit what they've become, seed beds of anti-Semitic hostility. Now, I just spoke in Amsterdam to the Jewish community, and they told me, this is a week ago, they were begging the government, begging the government to pay for security forces outside of the synagogues, and the government said, well, we assess that there's no threat, we can't afford it, you have to pay for it. Uh, Copenhagen, I understand, was the same thing. They begged the government to protect the synagogues, saying that they were threatened, that after the Paris attacks they were threatened. Okay. And they were not provided, and now there's more dead Jews as a result. So we're kind of getting tired of, re of seeing yeah, dead Jews. But you 